Hello Year 8. In this video, you will be learning how to divide in a given ratio. What does it mean by dividing in a given ratio? So let's consider this situation. Two people, let's make it A and B, buy a lottery ticket for $3 and they win the price of $60. So how can you divide the $60 into two for A and B? So should A receive um, $50, B receive $10, or A receive $30, B receive $30, or A receive $40, B receive $20? I don't know. So the amount that A and B receive will depends on how much they contribute to the ticket. I made it up to situation here. The first case, case number one, case number two. So case one, each person contribute $1.5. Case two, one person, let like make it A, contribute $1 and B, contribute $2. Now, um, let's check it out with case number one. So remember for me, when I when dealing with um, ratio questions, it would be very easy. It's easier for you to deal with that, those problems if you sketch the question. So, for example, in the first case, each person contributes $1.5. So, A will contribute, I will make a ratio between A and B. A contribute $1.5. B contribute $1.5. So, what is the ratio between them? Equal with, okay. So, A over B equal with 1.5 over 1.5. And you know that 1.5 over 1.5, we can simplify with 1. 0.5, so it's final is one on one. So it's mean that A, the seamless, when you have the seamless fraction here, the numerator here will be the contribution of A and the denominator here will be the contribution of B to the tickets here. All right, so you're gonna write down, you're gonna sketch when you have the seamless ratio, you're gonna sketch it A and B. A contribute one part, B contribute one equal parts, and the total we have two parts. Okay. The the they win the price sixty dollars. So these two parts will equal with sixty dollars. Why? Because this one is they whatever their contributions is have to be this one have to divide it into their, their contribution equally, fairly. So they contribute the total contribute two part. This one gonna be the total as well. So divide it by let get sixty divided by two part to see uh, how many dollars that one part has. So I'm gonna get sixty divided by two parts. Sixty dollar divided by two part. Sixty divided by two is thirty. So I'm gonna get thirty dollars for one part. It mean we, when we translate this one, it mean each part equal with. $30. Okay. And then when we have the amount that each part equal to, then it's easy for you to know how much A gonna receive, how much B gonna receive. All right. Because A receive, the amount of A receive will equal with the part, which is one part, times with one part. I just write down here one part. A contribute one part. And each part will receive $30, so time with $30. So finally, A will receive $30. How about B? B contribute one part, and each part will receive $30. So B will receive $30 in final. So you can see here, the contribution of A and B is equal. That's why the amount that they receive be equal as well. So let's check it out with case number two when their contribution are not the same. So again, I'm gonna uh, first I'm gonna find the ratio of contributions between A and B. A contribute one dollars, B contribute two dollars. So A on B equal with one on two, and the seamless fraction gonna be one over two. Then again, this one one is the contribution. The part contributions from A and this one two part contribution from B. So we're gonna sketch it A, B, A contribute one part, B contribute two part, 
is had to be equal. Okay, and the total is three parts. The contribution three parts. So this one gonna equal with the total amount, which is sixty dollars. The total amount that they received, and I have to find out how many dollars for one part received. So there is there are three parts here, three parts here, three parts equal with sixty dollars. So how much one part is? So we're gonna get sixty dollars divided by three parts. I'm gonna have twenty dollars each part. Okay, so this means each part equal with twenty dollars. And then from there, we can calculate the amount of money that A receive or and B receive. A will receive one part only because he contributes only one part. Okay, so A receive one part times with each part is twenty dollars, so it's equal with twenty dollar in final, and B will contribute. We contribute two parts. So that's why he will receive two parts and time with $20 for each part is equal with $40. Okay. So in this case, B contribute more than A. So that's why B received more than A. And exactly B received twice more than A because B contribute twice more than A. Okay. Now let's check it out with the second example. Share the amount 50. 500,000 in the ratio of 3 over 3 on 7. So let me make it this one A, this one is B. A contribute or A receive 3 parts. So this one you have to divide it into, to have you have 500,000. You're going to share it to A and B in the ratio A receive 3 parts, B receive 7 parts. So what I'll do. I'm going to sketch it. A, 3 part. B, 7 part. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So this one, 3. This one, 4. So total we have is... Uh, no, 3 and 7. So total I have is 10 parts. Okay. And this... And 500,000 will divide into 10 parts. Okay. So five hundred thousand dollars. So how much? How many dollars for one part? So you're gonna get five hundred thousand divided by ten parts to find how much one part will have. So it is fifty thousand dollars each part. Okay. So how much A will be received? A will receive three part only and each part has fifty thousand dollars so it's mean that you get three times fifty thousand dollars here is one hundred and fifty thousand dollars b receives seven parts sorry and each part has fifty thousand dollars so B will receive three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, all clear. Move on to the next example. A concrete mixture for a food path was made up one part of cement, two part of sand, and four part of blue metal. How much sand were used to make four point two cubic meters of concrete? So let's see. So in this concrete mixture, we have three elements, like three mixtures, cement, sand, and blue metal. So C for cement, S for sand, and blue metal. Let's make it metal. Cement has one part. Sand, two part. And blue metal, four parts. One, two, three, four. So totally how many do we have? How many parts do we have? One, three, plus another four is seven. So totally we have seven parts. 
Okay. And this seven part equal with 2.5 cubic meters of concrete. 4.2. 4.2 cubic meter of concrete. So how many cubic meter one part has? We have to get 4.2 cubic meters divided by seven parts equal with 0 0.6 cubic meter per part. Okay. And then when we have the amount that each part has, look at this one. Easily look. One part will have 0 0.6 cubic meter. 0 0.6, 0 0.6. You write that down. Okay. So how much sand were used to make this one? How much sand? So sand contribute two parts here. All right. So we write sand equals with two parts time with the amount of each part is 0 0.6 so it's 1.2 cubic meter so it means to make 4.2 cubic meter of concrete we need 1.2 cubic meter of sand 0 0.6 cubic meter of cement and how many here 2.4 cubic meter of blue metal